no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net I think there's a greater reason why we are willing to put billions of dollars and millions of man hours into obtaining power sources like oil, coal, and nuclear, but we are not willing to put nearly as much effort and dollars into solar, wind, and wave power. The reason is because deep down in our core, in a place we don't talk about, where our love of hatred, violence, and dominatrix porn dwells, deep down there, we like that there's a risk of chaos and death involved in tapping oil, coal, and nuclear energy. Oil spills and explosions, radioactive meltdowns and mine collapses, fracking earthquakes and flammable tap water. Yeah! How fucking awesome is that shit? We jammed our pipes so deep into the earth, we caused a goddamn earthquake. Who's your daddy now, bitch? There's not the same angry wolverine on his period bring it on motherfucker feeling with building a wind farm or a solar panel. Wind turbines rarely explode with the heat of a thousand suns and cause everybody within a hundred mile radius to flee with their pets and babies on their backs and pants around their ankles. Which is why I think the only way we can save the world and convince everybody to switch to wind and solar and wave power is to make them dangerous as Fuck! Every two years a solar panel should explode with the force of a neutron star wiping out a small country. Occasionally a wind turbine should spring a leak and release hurricane force gales causing uh, cows and chickens to splatter in the middle of suburban neighborhoods 50 miles away. Maybe solar panels could release radiation resulting in nearby populations growing gills on their chests and hair on their eyeballs. Wave power generators should malfunction suddenly spraying a quarter million Piers Morgans out into the ocean. You know, horrible, horrible stuff. Because as it stands now, the only risk of a wind turbine is that an occasional pigeon gets a bump on the noggin. And we as humans clearly will not put up with such safe and renewable power. We want risk. We want death and destruction, screaming and explosions. We want to feel like we captured a dragon that could escape at any moment, wreaking havoc on our way of life. This is why BP was just convicted of 11 felonies and is back to work after paying what for them is a small fine. If you or I were convicted of 11 felonies, no one would ever see us again. But we let BP go back to destroying the planet because somewhere deep down we want destruction and misery. So all I'm saying is wind, solar, other renewable energies, if you want to save this planet, start killing more people. Then, and only then, will we consider you a real player. That's been your Moment of Clarity from LeeCamp.net. For a limited time, if you want to help Moment of Clarity continue by becoming a member at LeeCamp.net slash membership, at any level, you will get a free digital download of my newest live comedy album, Pepper Spray the Tears Away. Thanks a lot. Keep fighting. No plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.